What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking the Jordan Airship on my year Green Stone. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive in today's video. Just like I said in the intro, man, we're talking the Jordan Airship on my year Green Stone. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release March 29th to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $140, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and right now look like they're averaging $170 and up depending on the size, right? Okay, now here we are, another airship with on my year. Um, this time, something out of the colorway that I guess you can say I'm not used to seeing, I wasn't anticipating a green, but I know they've already dropped on the on my year website and obviously they probably have done well so now we're getting the actual sneakers app release um overall i'll say dope shoe and i will say one thing i'm my gear is known for and i'm gonna go ahead and give them credit where credit is due attention to detail on this shoe other than just a typical aging look which i will say this that whole aging look thing i'm over it like i'm not hating on it but i'm not mad at it but at the same time it's like bro it's okay, but like you can't throw that at us every single time, even though it seems like they're doing that. But overall, still dope shoe. Now, I will say when I was going to go back to on my year as far as attention to detail, I don't want to just focus on the overall aging look. Granted, we you got, I think it's like three different set of laces other than what's coming in on the shoe. I know we got a pair of cell laces. That's how on my year normally usually rolls. And I believe there are going to be some other set of laces, but those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I noticed even in the inside, I will say on my year tries to bring in that like high quality looking shoe you know and this is actually pretty good for the price if we're going to think quality wise because if you think about in the side of the shoe they usually have that pillow soft and like touch into it same concept with this one from what it looks like except it says i'm on your print inside of it um and also the key chain or i guess you can say like i guess shoestring i don't even know what we call this thing like it's like a little shoe like shoestring like keychain joint um that's gonna be an on my ear logo and actually that's pretty cool and nice attention to detail but in that hairy green right okay pause something i'm not used to something i wasn't definitely ready for um i'm not mad at it i don't own a pair of airships yet now just fun fact for the people don't know or the people that's new to the game um before the jordan one right Michael Jordan played in the airships, right? Okay, before we had the Air Jordan 1, there was the airship first. Now, I guess you can say still, I know why we still call the Jordan 1 the Jordan 1s because that's still his first model technically. He played in the airships first, but that technically wasn't exclusively for him you know what i mean that was already something that existed you know what i'm saying like that wasn't made exclusively for him to the best of my knowledge and if i'm wrong feel free to correct me kid kid down in the comment section because again i don't know everything but that's why i feel like he played in those first kind of like think about this when the other guys were all on converse they were just playing in converse and just get converse shoes shoes that already existed but now they're wearing them and getting the sponsorship and the money behind it now the same thing is like okay we're gonna design your own sneaker but uh, for you for the time being you got to wear these airships that's how i look at it and i'm not saying they're a bad shoe now overall dope shoe dope concept for those people who are die hard like jordan fans i feel like this is that shoe for you or if you just like that upscale look or something different to the table or if you just like the color green now one thing i know in my collection probably gonna see a lot less green in fact i'm trying to think what shoe did i have green oh i know what i got um but still overall i don't really go crazy for green like i normally do so overall when it comes for these man not a bad shoe and i respect i'm my gear um for what all they brought to the sneak community but for me personally these will be a skip not a bad shoe but just not for me man and uh and i'm gonna just leave it at that so overall these will be a skip for the kid but I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. And will you be going out to these on March 29th, retailing at $140? And of course, let me know if you think they're drip 
or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out. I